What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Mizzy Miss Cool Cat County YouTube representing the Bizzers. If you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Like, subscribe, and comment to the Cool Cat County channel. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the video. Tell he studies a lot. You know, he knows what what teams are trying to do, what uh, you know route concepts they're trying to run. And, um, yeah, he's he's a good football player. Um, you know, true true pro. Uh, do you have any um, better idea about you than cornerback who didn't practice with you? You know, two years. Um, yeah, I think possibly. I think uh, you know we spent a lot of time going against each other, and um, yeah, so. Um, probably does, but it's a different offense, different scheme. We got different guys, so uh, that's certainly part of it too. What about you throwing the signal? Yeah, it goes goes both ways. I think you know we both understand each other's skill sets, and and uh, you know that'd be part of the game. Yeah, this team hasn't had a huge margin for error in a lot of games, but when you're going um, getting ready to play a team that's eleven and one. Does it make you change the way you think at all, as far as you know? opportunities are not going to be a lot here. We need to be completely on point. Uh, yeah, I mean, they're a good team. There's no doubt. Uh, you know, you understand that going in the game is, you know, they're, they're a good team. They're an explosive offense. they got a good defense. Um, so that factors in. We've got to play got to play our best ball, and, and uh, that's the goal. That's what we're preparing to do. When you've been studying, did he look like the best team you've played so far? Um, probably, yeah. Yeah, probably. I think uh, they're, they're extremely talented. They play well. They play hard. Uh, play together, so they're a good team. What stands out to you when you look at that on the Um, I mean, I think they have talented players across the board. Um, on defense at each level, they're they're talented. Uh, people who can uh, who can make a lot of plays, and then um, they play hard. You know, they're smart. You can tell that they don't have many uh, many busts in coverage or coverage or or scheme or, or any issues uh, with that kind of stuff. So. Um, they're a good team, they're talented, they're smart, they play hard. You've run the ball a lot, you know, your body feels. Um, um, you know, like the study team, like, you see how much he's run, how effective he's kind of like, you kind of understand what he's going through, and he's kind of going Yeah, uh, you know, we watch those guys a lot because they're in the division, so they're playing. Uh, you know, last week we watched him with uh, Washington, and uh, he's carrying the ball a lot. He's doing a lot for their offense. Um, he's extremely effective in the run game and doing a really good job with that. So, um, yeah, a lot of respect to him and, and all he's doing. Guess who's back? Very good again. We didn't know. Video. It's your boy, Mizzy Miz. Who can't count her up the YouTube rapper sitting in the back? <laughs> ah, that's right. Ah, Danny, sit your fire. Gotta add down before I make some change. Daniel Jones has got to deal with my defense. He got to deal with Fletcher Cox. Brainy Graham. Just what Javon Hargrave, Hassan Reddick, Sue, Joseph, Jordan Davis, Nicole McNeen, TJ Edwards, Avanti Maddox, cross our fingers, big play, slay. But he also got to deal with somebody else. He got to deal with someone who knows Danny Jones, who played with the New York Giants. He has to deal with with James Bradbury. Yep, James Bradbury, who's been locking all these corners up.
for weeks. Got locked up, they won't let him out. They won't let him out. Locked up, they won't let him out. Oh, they won't let him out. James Bradbury knows Daniel Jones because he played against them in practice of the New York football Giants. <laughs> so if Daniel Jones decides to throw a pass to any of his wide receivers, here comes James Bradbury to lock their asses up. Daniel Jones is not ready for this defense. And sure, the last two years down at MetLife, he was ready. Not this time. Not this time. Because those last two times, he didn't see Jordan Davis. He didn't see Sue and Joseph. Hassan Reddick wasn't there. James Bradbury was playing with them, with the Giants. Now he's here with us. TJ Edwards emerging. The Golden Dean might be playing. You see, Daniel Jones is going to feel the wrath of the birds. I told y'all, this is the revenge game for the Philadelphia Eagles. The whole team, Jalen Hurts, the whole team. But it's also a revenge game for James Bradbury. He got to face his own team, the New York football giants. And I can guarantee, I can guarantee James Bradbury going to get some picks. Because if there's one thing we know about Daniel Jones, he can have a pick or two. He can have a pick. He can have a fumble. And he can have a sack. Just like that. Just like that. Is what we know about Daniel. Is it a why didn't the New York Giants uh, do his fifth year option? If they trust Daniel. If they love Daniel. If they respect Daniel. They should have got his fifth-year option. Nope. He's a free agent after this year. And don't worry, New York Giants. The Philadelphia Eagles will make sure y'all know that y'all need a quarterback. Y'all need a quarterback. Chris Sims. And all you people out there saying Daniel Jones is better than Jalen Hurts. How you must look looking now? How are you looking now? Look salty, don't you? <laughs> looking salty, don't you? James Bradbury is probably watching the film of Daniel Jones and is probably licking his chops. Because the only weapon that y'all have is St. Quan Barkley. Sure, you got uh, Slayton. You got Slayton. But that's all y'all got. Y'all don't have no wide receivers. So it's going to be easy for my stuff. Because once the Philadelphia Eagles beat the Giants, we clinch a playoff spot. James Bradbury versus Daniel Jones. <sighs> Life is good as an Eagles fan. Don't y'all agree? Huh? I am on the road to